Hey, Desperates, it's me, your favorite housewife, Joe. Welcome back to Desperate Housewife. There's so many people! I stopped her because I wanted to talk to her. This is part three, I believe, of my replay of this video game. I have to go to therapy. I just pooped in the street. Thank you for that reverb fart, Geisha girl. I'm wearing wow, banana, flop. my banana Laffy Taffy outfit. But look at this velour jumpsuit. If I seduce him, do I have to go all the way back home? <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. I got what really confused. You have. Thank you for all these reverb farts and the what a flop, Salsa Senorita. Hairpin dropped in Geisha Girl. Thank you all so much. Um, Al dente hair, banana Laffy Taffy business suit, bubblegum pink tinny shoes. Talking just to Mr. Velour. Commenting on it. It wasn't a pickup line. It was just a compliment. <laughs> I'm sure I'll see you around. Okay. In fact, I don't have time for that anyway because I have to sit. I think I'm supposed to go seduce the pawn shop owner. Because what's her name's? Let me get this straight. Because she's upset about her yard. Miss Davenport's accepted the hush money. Oh, but she also needs... Pawn shop proprietor has a family heirloom brooch that he refuses to sell back. So I have to... I think I need to go seduce the pawn shop owner. This is where the game locked up last time and we had to end the stream. But I, I need to do this and then go to therapy. So it's okay if you do a whole lot of bad things uh, before you go to therapy. Because then it... Is he okay? Because then it cancels it Hello? out. How can I help you? Yelling at children. Um, <laughs> sleeping with someone for a heirloom brooch. Oh, and we did... And we... Yeah, the son... The son storyline went off the rails. I'm wondering if you have any antique brooches. I heard you might have a particular heirloom. I do, in fact, have an antique brooch. It is not for sale, however. What do you mean, not for sale? <laughs> she doesn't understand words. The issue she's running into. I don't have a German dictionary. I speak a little German myself. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, Geisha girl. Her problem right now is she doesn't understand words. I am only interested in a particular list of items, all of them collectibles. I have a sneaking suspicion that a number of these can be found on your street of Wisteria Lane. Hey, bud. Are you into discreet? Thank you, Salsa Senorita. I do appreciate that. I thought I was going to have to sleep with them. I didn't know I was going to have to if steal you stuff. bring me one of these items on this here list... I will trade it for Mrs. Davenport's brooch. Of course, there is the matter of the respective owners not knowing. I am tired of people selling wow. me stuff and wanting it back later. <laughs> Thank you, While Cake Tease, for that one as well. The end, they always ask for it back at the same price they sold it to me. And that gets old Selling fast. me stuff and wanting it back. Mrs. Davenport has been attempting to buy this brooch bag since her husband her sold husband it to her. Her husband sold it so to her. I can only assume that old hag sent you to complete what she could not. Hmm? Yeah, that's true. Oh, I am let's here just on say her that behalf. I suspect Rod is not as dead as most people around here have been led to believe. The Davenports weren't so poor as to need to sell me this brooch. Is her husband not dead? Is her husband not Dead? It is my business to know what is going on in Fairview as a well the brooch and I will be right. Can I can I seduce I can't seduce him. What can I do for you? Nothing goodbye. I have to go to therapy. Uh oh. <laughs> Nothing. I have to go to therapy. He's looking inside his own shop window. Nothing. I have to go to therapy. Wait, I know what I'm going to do first. I bet Jackie's in there. I'm going to go get a new outfit real quick. Not on mobile. Hey, Brit Steps, thank you for the bits. Good to have you here. I appreciate it. Do you Wait, faked his death to get away from her? All right, I'm walking in. So, yellow. 
yellow bikini tee. Her um, outfit of choice is yellow. <laughs> well, I'm really into the al dente pasta look. This swimsuit is, oh, it's lingerie. This is not even a swimsuit. $195. I'll accept the changes and I'll go show, I'll go, I'm going to go show, I'm going to go roll up in my husband's office. Girl, you get stuck in the stores in this game. Okay, before therapy, I have to go do some stuff. Where the hell are Jackie and my husband? Why is no one in the office? What day of the week is it? Isn't there a safe over here? Why can't I see the walls? Wall wall height is at full. Well, shit. I can't even get on her computer. I forgot how to work a computer. All right, I better go to therapy. <laughs> I think I'm unraveling. I better go to therapy. It looks like I shit my panties as well. Hello again. Very good to see you. <laughs> hey, good to see you, doctor. So, since our last session, how have things been settling for you? Other than a little hiccup with my son's tutor, things have been great. She doesn't think that this is that that's anything to talk to the therapist about. Hey, Brad, we just started. We just started. Sometimes the only way for us to see our true colors is to work through tough situations. Oh my god. That's that's so he's got a poster up. He's got the, he read it off an inspirational that poster sounds behind to me, me. Like you're taking everything in stride and doing well. Speaking of your son, how was it dealing with your lack of recollection and his childhood? Let's get mad. <laughs> I'm channeling Mommy Dearest. You have no idea what it's like to be a mother and have no memory of holding your baby in your arms. And as time went on... All right, and now let's switch it up. So one of the most frightening things you can do is be unpredictable with your emotions. And I learned that from Tilda Swanson when she played the White Witch in the Chronicles of Nernia. Um, and so now I'm going to be cold. Life was good. I couldn't get over this feeling. I was living a dream. And your husband, how did he react to all of this? He barely left me yet. Oh, no. Extremely nurturing. What, we have to say good things about him? Yeah, this one. I'd say he was a changed man, but that would imply I remembered how he was before. It sounds like he has played a very <laughs> strong supporting role in your life. Did I this exact analogy? Someone just said they binged the whole first time I played this game, and they were like, you have the exact same reactions. It's like, well, I'm the same person. It's the same person playing the same game, making the same bad choices. <laughs> Not raw waffles. Well, that Why do we have to be so nice to, to our husband? Let's begin by retracing the steps with your earliest memories and work forward. I had a fairly typical childhood. My parents loved me. I scraped my knee on my tricycle when I was four. I played house with a neighbor boy. What is that memory? It's pretty hazy. I remember a boy. We were dating. Can't remember his name. Why can't I remember what happened? It's all right. Just follow what you do remember. Eventually, the floodgates will open. We are making some different choices. Such as this time, we made an even worse choice regarding the teacher. Such so as this what time... what do you remember after that? It's been worse. It's okay. We'll stop there. I'll give you a... Have a great day. How are you doing? I can't even See slap my time. therapist. All right, I better go. <laughs> I guess I have to steal things. 
So there's a list of things I can do to end this situation with the garden. I can get the kids some chocolate from the pharmacy and then they might admit to it. Or I can steal things, which sounds more fun. A list of items. Let's try that. I like a challenge. Give me a challenge. Well, giving kids candies just sounds too easy. Just sounds way too easy. Walk past the fountain, drop a turd, and head to my Chrysler Pacifica. Drive my Chrysler Pacifica home with shitty panties. <laughs> Well, I just, I'll just, I'll put them in, I'll put the stuff in my hair with all my secrets. I don't need a trench coat. Taking it was easier? No, just buying chocolate and giving it to kids sounds easy. Let's look at the map. Where does it think I need to steal from? Item list, guitar. There's an actual list. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guitar signed by Leslie Belford. Brit has that. Tracy Umberkov Litho, lithograph from Fox. Signed baseball card. Lynette has that one. Bejeweled egg. Crystal. <gasps> What are those eggs that, that rich people collect? What are those eggs? Not Cadbury. <laughs> what are those eggs? Not J. Fabergé. Faberge. Faberge. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He wants a Susan Meyer original painting. We might as well let the kids throw some slop, throw some mud on a page. I'm going to get the Fabergé egg. Is that Gabrielle Solis? I don't really know their last names. Where's Gabby live? Oh, right next to me. Well, well, <laughs> Easter! <laughs> I'll just tuck it in like a jade egg and walk away. And maybe sleep with Carlos. Hello. You Hi, Hunty. Who doesn't want to see you, Gabby? I couldn't have said it better myself. Actually, I'm sure I would have found some way to You look so my glamorous so today. So lucky. What do you mean? You obviously have no idea how good you have it. Just imagine what it would be like if I wasn't your neighbor. So true, no Bestie. No European luxury cars driving past your house. And when would you... You're I right. Really I never right thought now. of it that way. Okay, let me in. I think we probably have to wait till nighttime for this to happen. I love Gabby because she doesn't have a TV. And I hate TV. I love Gabby because she doesn't watch TV, and I hate TV. Is that it? Oh, that's it. She keeps it in her, her... So I can't steal it till nighttime, apparently. Okay, well, we've located it. And I'm getting, um... Interested by looking at it. Now I'll look at myself in the mirror... Nope. Can I take a bath in her bathtub? <laughs> she, she, well, it's good that she blends in everywhere. Hello.
Hello, I'm trying to steal stuff. It's called a, what do they call it when there's a little streak in your undies? There was a TV upstairs? Oh, well, I'm glad she doesn't have one downstairs. Do you know when Carlos is gonna be home? Can I eat something out of your fridge? I'll just print myself. Skid mark. Gigi, thank you for the bits. Well, Megan McMegan doesn't believe in toner. She just wears purple and let it let the light reflect onto her hair. Supernal Toast, 13 months. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. Great to have you here. Thank you for that reverb fart, Samantha. I appreciate it. Uh, Widrum's 15 months. Thank you so much. Great to have you here. Amelie's being re-released in theaters for Valentine's Day? Okay, that actually sounds pretty fun. I'm gonna have to see if they're showing it here. You can't swim in this. They have a gazebo. How can I pass the time? Oh, I think I have other things I'm supposed to do. I think I'm supposed to befriend. Oh, I need to purchase some upgrades for the house. I'll just walk around the side of the house. <laughs> Did she turn on her fucking TV? I'm livid. And I think I'm supposed to be friends with Susan? Moving on up. Daniel's gardening tips. Anyway, I don't really care about that. Anyway, I don't like Susan. Oh, and I have mail, too. I'll check the mail, buy some things for the house. Just wandering down the street. And then I'll go back and sneak in. Got it. I love having a plan. Oh, I got a free walls upgrade. Sweepstakes winner! I just got $100. The rich get richer, and the rich get richer. My composure need is low. Are you fucking okay, base? No, I got baseball! Golf? Golf, hey, are Mom, you okay? Do you want to talk to me? I guess. Oh, no. I hate it when you start a conversation this way. Go ahead. Start the interrogation. Okay, just get on with it either way. I don't even know what party you're talking God, about. If I had a kid, I'd never talk to them. <laughs> God. Is that all? Later, Mom. God, if I had a kid, you wouldn't catch me. <laughs> you wouldn't catch me having a conversation with that kid. All right, upgrade it. That's it. I just needed a big old TV that I'll that where no one is allowed to use. By the way, it's a status symbol. Nobody better turn on that television. What are you talking about in there? What are you talking about in front of my slim fast? What the hell was that for? I've been wanting to slap you, so I did. I'm putting my foot down. If you sl Yeah, he does that weird arm clapping. Nobody better turn on this TV when I'm not home. Nobody better touch the TV. <laughs> I'm leaving. All right, back to Gabby's. We're going to see if Carlos is home. And then we can sleep with Carlos and maybe just hide in the house until nighttime. I like the sound of that. Do your fr does your do y'all ever go to your friend's house and your friend thinks you left but you didn't and you just stay? 
And you just decide to stay. Liz Mayhan, thank you for the 20 months, by the way. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, thank you. Great to have you here. You just become roommates? There's Hello. Carlos. You wanted to see me? Great. I said it better yeah, myself. great. You're you look so glamorous. Lucky. Great. You I'm so lucky. European I'm so lucky. I really you have look to great in purple. The heels aren't ugly. Okay. Let's go seduce. But then that'll take me back to my house. That's fine. Bronsonson's there. He can watch. He likes to watch. <laughs> Hello. Did you need something? So what can I do for you? What can you do to me? That's very funny. But you should be careful. I might get the wrong idea and think you're not joking. I don't want to be careful, Carlos. I want to be reckless. You are aware that I'm a happily married man, right? I will mention Gabrielle if you don't mention Bonson. Don't mention her name again. All I want is you. Right now. <laughs> I have never felt someone not mean those words as much as this voice actor. Don't mention her name again. All I want is you. Right now. Yes, Carlos, take me now. I, I had to change from my yellow lingerie to my black lingerie. <laughs> To hide the poop stains. <laughs> to hide the poop stains. Whew. Boy, that was some awesome erotic action there. That was some awesome erotic action there. Anytime Great. you want to get together. Thanks. All right. Dropped him back at his house. Well, I'll just hang out in the yard. <laughs> well, I'll just hang out in the street. I'll just fast forward the game and hang out in the street. <laughs> I'll just stand in the street for a few hours. Don't mind me. I have to wait till it's night time to sneak into your house and steal your Fabergé eggs. Don't worry. I have time. A lot of Chrysler Pacificas on the street. A lot of Chrysler Pacificas. That's okay. 10 o'clock? It's almost 10, it's fine. Perfect. All right, stay awake. Please stop inching closer. The car's been there for four hours. All right. Members of this household are still at home. All right, I'll just look in their windows until they go to bed. I'll just look in their window till they go to bed. They must be upstairs. What about now? Sneak in! Got it. You know what? We should save. But I won't. I like the risk. <laughs> Staircase. Yes! They're sleeping. Bejeweled egg is mine! Why are... Oh, shit. The mirror! There's a puddle. They're trying to make me slip. There's a television remote. They booby trapped this house like Home Alone. Mom, it's Home Alone. The, is the dark line on her underwear getting darker? Or is it just me? I didn't get the egg. Yes, I did. Oh, shit. All right, I'm going back in. I thought I got the egg. <laughs> she, not she left the puddle. <laughs> she left the puddle. Y'all, that strap in the back is getting darker. How did I miss the egg? Is it when I stopped the mirror? No, Diva. Okay. No, 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 no. Stop the mirror. Stop the mirror. I don't know why the mirror is still blinking. I got it. I got it. Can I seduce Carlos like this? No. Carlos's head is going through the wall. <laughs> Not where did it go? I don't know what happens if I get caught. I don't want to get caught. 
Thanks, Keg Teeth, for that wonderful reverb fart. Do you think the pawn shop's open late? I'm gonna go to the mall at night. Love that they call this little shithole a mall. It's closed. So <laughs> Sorry, this is when Sears does their restock. That's the Sears truck. This is when Sears does their retruck their restock. Sorry. Just a class. It's truck day from Sears. All right. Well, I need to go wake up my husband and slap him once before I go to bed. I haven't had a slim fast. I don't think I so I've had an insure. If I cook breakfast now, if I cook breakfast at 11:50 p.m., then I won't have to cook in the morning. Maybe a banana meatloaf. A banana meatloaf at midnight? Mama, I'm thinking ahead. Big brain, huge. Preheat the oven to 350. Is this an oven? Oh. <laughs> well, close enough is 400. We want to cook faster anyway. Add the butter to the bowl. We're stirring just some butter. Add ground, grounded beef. Ooh, very, very red. Breadcrumbs. No crumbs. Banana. Salt. Pepper. Paprika. Into the oven. We want it seared on the outside, burned on the outside, and not cooked inside. <laughs> I got an F. A plus on time. F on baking. Evens out to a C. Everybody wake up. It's vegan except for the beef and the butter. <laughs> Rosenson. You haven't touched your banana meatloaf. Well, I run on a different schedule than the other family members. I'm a bit of a night owl. Good work. You're a natural. Thanks, Salsa Senorita. I run a bit on my own schedule. I'm not cleaning it up. I've done enough for today. It's actually good. We made a banana meat. A banana meatloaf is an actual old timey type of recipe. We made it here on this channel and it was actually pretty good. It was actually not bad. What the hell was that for? I can't believe I did that. <laughs> I'm putting my foot down. I'm learning a lot about slapping from watching 1940s movies. Am I not allowed to sleep now? You need to clean this object before you can use it. <laughs> the game said, you have to clean up the shit in the bed from the previous night before you sleep in the bed tonight. I just changed lingerie. Oh my gosh. Well, peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Those are so good. Yeah, he wears his blue jeans. Sometimes he wears his doctor outfit. What the hell was that for? 
more. I'm putting my foot. It's not a good marriage, by the way. I don't know if you could tell from the sleeping with all the people. All right. Bye, golf. Clean up the plate and make your own breakfast. I have to go sell a stolen Fabergé egg. Did you know there are people who sleep in blue jeans? And I think that that is so rancid. Sleeping in denim. Not pajama jeans. Denim. Blue jeans. Jean jeans. Thick Levi. Arizona Jean Company, sold exclusively by J.C. Penney's. What can I do for you? I have one of the items on your list. My, my. Well, if you end up locating and procuring any of the other items, so long. Do I have to? Oh, no, I got the heirloom. I thought he was about to. Hold on. Let me just see if my husband's here. He hadn't left when I left, but he might be here. Thick Levi, Arizona Jean Company. The buckle. <laughs> what if I just wait for him until he gets here? I mean, what else am I really doing? What if I just sit in Jackie's chair and then when she gets here, I turn around in it? Well, I might as well take the prescription pad and write myself some anti-diarrheal <laughs> prescriptions. I think if I take that to the pharmacy. The buckle. If I don't, these, I don't even wear jeans. Any, I, I've started being a texture person. I don't even, the second I get in the house, jeans come off and sweatpants go on. The second, I can't do it anymore. I'm not here for it. Oh, pharmacy, sorry. Maybe we'll check out the fashion center too. It's just denim, I hate the feeling on my legs. I'll take some, ooh, anxiety medication, muscle relaxant. Should I stock up on the Caress Berry Indulging Body Bar or buy more Xanax? <laughs> Did Caress know what they were sponsoring when they chose this game? Should I write my own prescription for Xanax or stock up on more Caress Berry Indulging Body Bars <laughs> for the sink? Or get some PTSD medication. <laughs> oh, and I don't need the anxiety medication. I can just get some herbal tea. <laughs> um, and some perfume. That's the ticket. All right. New item added. PTSD. Can you... What, what will I take? I'll take a little of both. <laughs> She's vibing now. She's a mommy who microdoses. Hunty. And do not judge me. Wait, where am I? <laughs> We got it figured out. I don't know. In the first time I played this game, y'all very much told me it doesn't really matter. And it really doesn't seem to matter what my moods and relationships are. Like gardening, who cares? Bronson student still somehow likes me a little bit. Hello, how are things? We have a pool and a riding lawnmower. 
I have the brooch. Thank you for retrieving my family's And I have some fertilizer for, for your garden. It means so much to me that I have it back. And I have some fresh fertilizer for your garden. Oh, on a side note, you might want to let Mike know that his mutt is off the hook. But I will be keeping an eye out for him. Great. I don't care. Can I stomp on her garden while she's gardening? No. Okay. Um, Keg Panda, thank you for the five months. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. Let Mike know. Let him know. Let him know. Seabear, 25 months. Oh my gosh. It's good to see you. I hope you're having a good start to your new year. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Alexa, thank you for the bids. Give it up for therapy. Hell yeah. We're doing good. Hello. Found anything new that might be able to help with this Mrs. Davenport situation? He sounds like a computer talking, doesn't he? It sounds like they've run his talking voice through like a vocoder or something. I took care of things like I always do. Thanks for clearing that situation up. Well, I, really I want to know, I know one way that you and I can thank each other more appropriately. Well, the best I can do is offer you free plumbing services. No, no, Mike. Didn't I already sleep hey, with him once? What's going on? I want you to see something. Is it a clog? <laughs> no, in fact, it's the opposite. Poopy down my leg, Mike. You could, in a way. What exactly needs my attention? I need you to look at my plumbing. All right. I'll take a look first thing in the morning. I see. So, are you sick? Follow me to the... Let me just slip on to some slightly different lingerie, but keep my tennis shoes on, Mike. Who's the hottest guy in Wisteria Lane? Over to you in the chat. That question's over to you in the chat. Once again, you've rocked my world. That was great. Once again, you've rocked my world. Thanks, Mike. There's plenty more where that... Thanks. I'm sure there is. I have to go sleep with the mailman. <laughs> Mike? Hello? Does Mike pull a How gun on Susan today? in the show? Or is that a fantasy? Or is that like a, something she's daydreams about? Because I saw a clip on YouTube. All right. Oh. It doesn't matter how we get there. Uh, uh, as long as we get are there. You coming on? This is like... Those to-the-knees shorts just really got me going. <laughs> Those cargo shorts all that touch your think knees. It was possible, but you were even better. Well, in that... All right, great. Thanks, bye. Who's that? Colt? We'll leave him alone. What else do I... I need a to-do list. Gardens are a great way of improving respect. I'm standing in front of my house in... Lingerie with a turd stain. Does Daniel think I care about respect in this neighborhood? Stop. <laughs> Thanks for that sticker. It <laughs> got right over my face, huh? Welcome to your garden, your own little plant sanctuary. Take good care of it, and you'll be rewarded with beautiful flowers year-round. To your left are several tools that will help you... In tutorial. <laughs> Pesticide. Mama, this is not organic gardening. Me inhaling that? Is this not a shovel? Oh, that's how you move them. Oh. Oh, I hate this. All right, we'll just, I mean, surely sorting them out it makes something fun. Oh, I already stopped caring. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, maybe some purple ones. These are okay. Oh, shit. Oh, roses are nice. Um, weeding. Do you see any weeds? 
Why are these ones floating up green? Oh, you have to water them. I have to tell you, I'm ex- Oh! I was just about to say I'm extremely good at taking care of plants in real life. It's not translating, apparently. I mean, you don't want to overwater them. Justin almost killed all of our plants, and I literally brought them back from the dead, and they look beautiful now. Oh. That's fine. Um, I think it's great. I guess throw these away, though. Some level two plants? Sounds great to me. Water them a little bit. Can I not have a smaller watering can so I can just water these? Because the ones around them are dying now. All right, I'll just leave that part blank. I don't want a bush there. Thank you, Sears, for sponsoring my lovely garden. Oh, can I hire a fucking gardener? All right, I'm gonna do that. Watering a cactus daily? That's not it. Gold catering. I need some herbal tea. By the way, she doesn't make a, a cup of tea. She eats the tea bags. She doesn't make a cup of tea. She takes Xanax and then chews on a tea bag and swallows it. Hello, you have reached AAA Temporary Services. Please select the service you are interested in. Please select the level of gardening service you would like to hire. For more information on each level of service, please visit our website or our store. Bronze, silver, gold. Would you like to order or cancel additional services? No, I'm done. Where's the gardener? I ordered them. Should probably get cleaning too. I wonder what my husband's doing. Thank you for calling. Doing. Leave your message and I will... Okay. Probably fucking Jackie. Hello. You have reached AAA Temporary Services. Definitely select cleaning. select level of cleaning service you would like to... Gold. Would you like to order or cancel additional... No, I'm done. Where is she? <laughs> no, this... Oh, yeah, y'all told me I could hook up with the maid. Oh, there's... Oh, that's Bronsonson. Why aren't you working today? What day of the week is it? We don't even know. Every day is the same here. What are you doing in here? Oh my god, she's walking around the whole house to- There's the maid. Never mind, I don't care about Bronsonson. I'll just stand at the door till we get a visitor. I'll just stand at the door till we get a visitor. Hello. <laughs> Did you need something else? Well, if you're game, I think there may be one more dirty deed that needs to be done. She points to her... <laughs> Are you okay? She points to her diapy. She says, well, if you're game. Thank you, um, for that sticker, Geisha girl. Um, what sort of deed? I'm pretty sure the whole house is in order. A nice hot bubble bath for two. Actually, maybe a shower would be better. I did work up quite a sweat cleaning your house. A shower sounds pretty good. Meet me in the bedroom. What does she wear? Oh, she keeps on the maid outfit. And I change into slightly different lingerie again. Finally, something gay is happening. I'll be getting back to my duties now. Whatever you say, ma'am. All right, thanks. As long as you clean the house. Brit Steps, thank you again for the bits. Appreciate that. Megan, thank you for the three months. I appreciate that as well. Thank you, thank you. I'm getting happy just looking at my house. 
I guess I'll cook dinner. It's only 148, but Bronsonson's been standing in the same place for a few hours and Golf doesn't have a thought in his head. So I guess I'll You must complete all recipes with a B grade. Oh golf. Are you okay? I worry about that kid. <laughs> he hasn't been fed in like a long time. Look how much slim fast we have in the fridge. Um, chop a cucumber. That was hard. Um, chop carrots. That was awful, apparently. Chop celery. Can I tell y'all a secret about food? It doesn't matter how you chop it. It tastes the same. And you add your ranch dressing to the bowl first. We're mixing ranch dressing and yogurt. Oh, I see. This is a, um... It's a plate. They're making a dip. I'm just gonna get a snack out of the fridge. I'm not eating that. I'm just gonna grab a Slim Fast and look at it, but not drink it. <laughs> and look at it. And instead, spray myself with perfume. And go to bed at 4 p.m. I made a vegetable plate, looked at a Slim Fast, put on perfume, and I'm in bed by 4 p.m. We if all that, make choices. <laughs> that was a choice. If that ain't the if that ain't the dream, I don't know what is. I'll upgrade my bed, not the four thousand dollar one. Oh, these are all ugly. How do I get more money? I suddenly want more money. All I can do is nap. Oh, let's call Please the teacher. Leave your message after the tone. Can I call my therapist? No, he didn't give me his number. <laughs> you have reached Edie Britt of Fairview Realty, where we handle all of your needs. What am I supposed to do now? I guess I'll take a shower. Not the item rotation glitch. Are there any cheats or anything for this game? The stair runner isn't centered. I didn't notice. What clothes do I own? I kind of like this one. Oh, cheat on your husband, yes. Eris in Wonderland, thank you for the bits. I appreciate that so much. Always great to see you. Alexa, thank you for the bits. I have, excuse me, I got too excited. I'm really enjoying the new Tama game on Apple Arcade. I don't have a stair runner. Oh. Oh, in front of the door. Okay, yeah. Well, the stairs aren't centered in front of the door. I don't even know if Bronsonson's okay. He doesn't go to work anymore. He just stands in the utility room. I mean, I guess I'll go talk to Daniel. I don't even know where, here he is. It is so much better than the Hello Kitty game. I think it feels like the budgets for the Hello Kitty game and the Tamagotchi game got mixed up. Because it's really good. Hello again, how are the improvements coming? I think I've improved everything. 
I don't need Approval help improving. Approval is based on a combination of replacing older plants with prettier... I'm just kind of here to sleep with your brother so I can get home faster. Hello. Oh, really? Do you need me to... F then what do you... What do you... But you're married! Then I'd better get to work. The new Tamagotchi game is called... Tamagotchi Adventure? It's only on Apple Arcade. That didn't warp me home. That, was right. one that wasn't well, great. I guess I didn't... You weren't that great either. Sure, whatever. I know, I know my worth. I know my worth. First of all, Frank. I guess I'm supposed to be working on all these things. Gardening tips. Gardening tips. My only goal is gardening. My only goal is gardening. How many people have I slept with? Ooh, uh oh. <laughs> How many people have I slept with in this game so far? Hello. Sorry. You have reached AAA temporary services. Please, please select the level of guard. Would you like to order or cancel? Did the gardener even come last time? Look at this place. No, 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 no. I'll just stand here. I'll wait. <gasps> Is that the gardener? He sh whoa, 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 whoa. Is that supposed to be the guy from the show who's the gardener that Gabrielle sleeps with? Who's from that? Who's from Days of Our Lives? Hello. Hey, bud. Well, um, I'm not sure what to say. What about your husband? He's been in the utility special. room all day. Who cares? Finally, one of the men kind of halfway undresses. Hey, bud. Are you into discreet? Jesse Metcalf. <laughs> Thank you, Salsa Senorita. Very nice. I appreciate that. I'm glad you that. asked me to go upstairs with you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, can I'm you garden ready for now? Anything you need me for? I always enjoy my time spent with. There is something I need you for, and it's gardening. Oh, thank God, he's still gonna garden. I'll watch. Wait! Oh, I thought all my plants disappeared. Wait, he didn't do anything. <laughs> jeans stay on. He sleeps in his jeans. Oh, thanks, Silence, my brother. I got this at the Nintendo store in New York. I guess I'll just watch the neighborhood until it's time to sleep. Light speed sleeping. Oh, I could probably steal more items. All right, I don't even care enough to slap Bronson Sunday night. Just tell me I have more goals. No, don't nap. No, stop it. This game has you clicking things you don't want to be clicking. <laughs> Someone has to keep an eye on this neighborhood. I wonder if I really need to do the gardening tutorial because I don't need it. Oh my God. I'm sick of taking care of people. There's bugs everywhere. I just had the gardener here yesterday. Instead of making my garden nice, why can't I make other people's gardens worse? I just feel like that's what I should get to do. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, that's as good as it's gonna get. I guess. I don't do outside plants. I do inside plants. Sponsored by Sears. Great. I did it. Who's that? Please talk to me. Janelle? Have you noticed some strange characters hanging around the neighborhood? I mean, you don't live here, and I've just noticed you. Uh, yeah, I feel Next like I'm being watched. see something suspicious? I'm going to call the police. Every time I leave the house with my shitty underwear, I feel like I'm being watched. <laughs> she means me. See you. See you. Oh my god, I remember you. Ouch! Why did you do that? Whatever. I just, just don't. I'm in a bad mood. Uh, 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 did the mail come yet? Uh, uh, help me. She just leaves these kids in the yards all day. In the yards. Where's... Her lawnmower's floating! Um. Poker unlocked. Businesses moved in. Mo gardening. These are hints. After speaking with Daniel, remember he mentioned that five most popular housewives. Little Ego. Move up on the Sokol ladder. I'm not talking to the mailman again. I'm over him. I'm just gonna go get my mail. And I guess I'll go try to be friends with people. Uh, ah! Is this Susan's house? Susan? You know, back in my day, people just send their kids out in the yard. You play in the yard, and now you got iPads on. The kids have an iPad. Back in my day, we run around and got cool kidnapped. Story. <laughs> Good thing. Thanks, Keisha, girl. Maybe I'll work. Maybe I'll do that, God X hey, Devon. We run into each other a lot, don't we? Susan, we're neighbors. Oh, right. Silly me. Do you have anything you need me to do in your house? Can I use your... She has an... I'm gonna go admire her MP3 player. <laughs> uh, Susan, do you mind if I stand here for a few hours and admire your Zune? Such a lovely Zune on this table. I'm feeling better already, Susan. Oh, Susan. Hey, page two. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Geisha girl, thanks for that reverb fart. Change the outfit? Oh, Susan. Give me a hug. <laughs> Oh, I feel so sorry for you, Susan. Oh, Susan, I do pity you. Oh, Susan. Susan, can I get your mail for you, Susan? Gardens. Did I get stuck on this part the first time I played the game? Because I feel like I got stuck on this part the first time I played the game. This is the last goal I have. This is the last goal I have.
Why are there always so many bugs? And they're so big. Maybe this has to get go up, but why do I care? I wonder if I have to get to level four of a garden. Oh my God. Oh my God. I need some good, I need some better plants. These ones are trash. Level four plants, level two plants only. Oh, these are level two. Throw away these ugly purple ones. Is that bar moving at all? It doesn't feel like that bar is moving. Um, get rid of those, get red. Red, that's it! And these, and these ones. I'm gonna go bankrupt on this fucking garden. I don't think the bar is moving. There's a book? Is there a book? Online! The internet! Wait a second. I just remembered about the internet. All right, I'm gonna call a gardener to water him. I don't water him. I'm not doing that. Hello, you have reached AAA Temporary Services. Please select. Please select the level of gardening service. Go. Would you like to order or cancel additional? No. I have to go on the internet. Excuse me, I need to go on the internet. But my husband's not even going to work. My husband's not even going to work. Shouldn't he be going to work? Does anyone know how to use a computer? This ugly ass church carpet. Gardening. Gardening. Gardening? Gardening. Are you okay? No. Thank you, Salsa Senorita. Oh, Davide, good to see you. You got a mystery heart stopper calendar to your apartment. That's fun. That's weird. <laughs> Amazon probably just sent you one. If Amazon hears you're gay, they include a heart stopper calendar. Slapping stickers? A Florida woman was arrested for stuffing her bra with a hot swallow. Barb, age 28. I hate reading the internet. I did it. I read the whole internet. Oh, Jesus. I did it. I read the whole internet. How's my sweetheart today? Oh, no, Davide. That's not the move. Fatal Amnesia, thank you for the gift sub. I appreciate that so much, by the uh. way. Thank you again. Wire Gremlin, thank you for that gift sub as well. Thank you so much. I do appreciate that. Trucking Wonderful. along to the sub goal. I want to make sure that you stay happy. Bye, hon. Okay, here's the plan. I'm going to look up on the real internet. Not this 2000 and whatever bullshit. I'm going to sit in this chair. I'm going to click out the window. I'm going to read the, the real internet. What chapter is this? Episode four, this one again. This, this is the one. Episode four. Desperate Housewives PC Game, episode four. Poker night, 
To improve your garden, you should plant some better level two flowers. Hattening the Gold Gardener helps too. When your garden is good enough, Bree will call to compliment you. When your garden is good enough, Bree will call to compliment you. I can't do anything until my garden's good enough. I'm held hostage by plants. So I have to continue making my garden look good. There are definitely walkthroughs for this game. This is a hard game. This is a difficult game for me to stream. I feel like we probably ran into this exact same problem on the first playthrough and every single one of us, you can't point the finger just at me. I know y'all watched it too. Every single one of us has forgotten. <laughs> every single one of us has forgotten. What, what could they need? What could plants need? Weeds? I don't see any. Water? They're fine. I've planted all the best. Oh, these are the most expensive. Peonies. Peonies. <laughs> Peonies. Peonies. Did anyone else do that science fair project in like sixth grade where you like see if a plant grows better in natural light versus a dumb old light bulb? I feel like I should just rip it all up. How do you, now how, is it, is there tips online for about internet about gardening? No, no, we just have to do it. We have to believe in ourselves. It's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. Oh, these are the, these are level two. These are expensive and these are expensive. I wonder if I need some of each color because I don't have any. No, I do have all of each color. There's two pinks. What if I added more pinks? This isn't affecting the bar at all. I think the bar just went down. <laughs> Pull up a walkthrough. Pull up a walkthrough. I have all level two and I hired a gardener. So maybe I just have to wait like a day now. You grew up in the South, Shelby? I can tell. Real recognizes real. I'm getting rid of all of them. All right, and I'm calling the gardener to garden these. This is literally like a five-star island rating on AC. Okay, services? Hello, you have reached AAA <laughs> Temporary Services. Please select the service you are interested in. What does it feel like to have a southern accent? I can't relate. I've never had one. Please select the level of gardening. Would you like to order or cancel a dish? What's it like to have a southern accent? I've used all my money up on this goddamn gardening. Yeah, that's all I can do for today. Well, I have a, it's a British accent. British people used to sound like this. And some of them still do, including me. <laughs> he just came! Why are there bugs? Okay, it did go up. It did go up. If I keep hiring him, it might keep... <gasps> Bree! My goodness. You have certainly managed to make a wonderful display with your garden. Thank you, Bree. Your opinion means everything to me. Oh, come now. 
What? You have done a wonderful job. I am sure everyone can appreciate how much time and effort you put into this beautiful garden. Thanks again. You're very welcome. Well, I'll see you. Oh, Bree, you caught me. I was just shitting in the garden. On with the show! You have successfully acquired a top five position in the Sweetheart's ranking as well as defuse the situation. With everything in order, it's time to let Daniel Fox know that it's time to get on with the show. It's my first runway. Lauren Lennox, thank you for the 20 months. I appreciate that so much. Always great to see you. Hope you're having a good new year. Anna Lee Falkingham, thank you for the 12 months. I appreciate that so much as well. Great to have you here. Thank you, thank you. No, I'm not editing any of that out. I it's all staying in. It. Now let's get on with the presentation of the... Right? It stays in, right? Competition. It's hardwired into us from an early age. It can bring out the best... as well as the worst. Is she okay? And while every competition has its winners, it must by definition have its losers as well. Who was the loser? Sometimes it's best to stand back in order to allow others to shine. <laughs> I'm wearing my lingerie. <laughs> Not this. Whose cell phone does Lynette carry? Oh. Any fashion designer will tell you that's that one the person. Right design communicates something powerful to all observers. The right outfit can help us express many facets of our <gasps> personalities. Edie's mad. Sometimes she didn't get picked. More than mere words. Why did Susan pick her st pick her up her mail in front of Edie's house? Although sometimes we choose our clothing. To intentionally hide what lies beneath. <laughs> I'm not trying to hide anything with my clothing. Hey. Oh, hey, Daniel. Listen, I can't talk too long, but basically there's a little work left to do on your dress. Come by sometime and we'll talk about it, okay? I'll be by in a I'll bit. See you when you get I'm here. doing this for free, by the way, so it's on my time, Daniel. Oh, and what was this letter in my mailbox? I thought she. Did she get the mail? Did she leave it in the mailbox? Did she eat it? <laughs> Not this, Sasha. Oh, since this isn't a house, I have to walk there. Technically, I could warp to one of the houses, but it's such a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Hey, Daniel. Ah, you're here. Glad you noticed. So now that you're here, I have good news and bad news for you. Let's Which hear the bad news. The bad news is that I don't have all of the right fabric I want to use for the dress. I've been looking all over and contacting everyone I know trying to get a hold of a really unique luminescent textured fabric, but I can't find it. Sounds expensive. And rare too. It's absolutely necessary that I have it. Maybe you'll have better luck finding it than me. But then again, the only people that would have access to it would be the ones that have that kind of money to spend on their clothes. Gabby? And there aren't too many devoted fashion plates out in the middle of suburbia, I imagine. But on the bright side, since I haven't made the dress yet, you get the chance to customize it to your liking. Great, Each color fun. of the spectrum conveys a different set of ideas oh and emotions, God. all of which can have a compelling effect on the audience while you're on the catwalk. I 
I have such deep rooted thoughts about the fashion industry. <laughs> and that scene in The Devil Wears Prada, where she talks about how she picked blue and that mattered somehow because it trickled down to Nordstrom Rack. Nobody cares. That doesn't matter. Cerulean. <laughs> As someone who worked in the fashion industry has a fashion degree, I'm so disillusioned. And lucky you, you get to choose the other girl's cell. Do you know which colors you want? Oh, let's hear him again. Each color of the spectrum conveys a different set of ideas and emotions, all of which can have a compelling just cause effect it, on Just because something's true doesn't platform. mean it matters in the least. And just because something's true doesn't mean I care. <laughs> okay, different colors represent different things. And lucky you, you get to choose the color of the dress. The other girls didn't get to have this much input. You Do you know? know what the Pantone color of the year is in 2024? Peach fuzz. It looks like a doctor's. It looks like a doctor's office from the 90s. It's the color of the walls in a doctor's office in the 90s. It's called peach fuzz. So, do you know which colors you want? Well, I mean, anyway, I'm not going to go on. Tea Noodles, thank you for the gift sub. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. Always great to have you here. Oh, I'm sure he told me the descriptions so again, and I was, dress? and I just got mad again talking about the fashion industry and didn't listen. Oh, here's the descriptions. Blue, calm and serene like the oaken. Yellow, like the golden soon. Red, fiery, energetic, passionate. Green, the color of vibrance and life. I think I picked red last time. It's got to be yellow, though. All she wears is yellow. Also, that's not an emotion that it represents. Like the golden sun is not an emotion. Great. I'll make a note of that. Maybe and he so said the they represent the things, but continues. not necessarily emotions. I guess I can help you look for the fabric. Thanks. It seems like that's what you're insinuating, and I have nothing else to do, Daniel. Thank you very much. The only fabric that Daniel thinks is worthy of your dress is extremely hard to come by. But who? D Gabby. She used to be a fashion. She used to be a model. She used to be a hey, model. I heard you were looking for something. She just called, she just called me. I don't remember any of this. I love replaying games because I don't remember anything. Word has a way of getting around. You know how that can be. Right. So what can I do for you, Gabby? Listen, I talked with Daniel. He told me. Has what your husband been for. screaming my and name I think again? I can help you out. Come over and we can have a chat and. Great. See it. Has your husband been hollering me again? Hollering my name in his sleep again? <laughs> Grinding her hip? She's, that's now, how she Carlos? talks on the phone. Oh, they're getting into a fight. Are you going to tell me what you plan on preparing for the potluck or what? Preparing? Carlos, sweetie. Why would you assume I would prepare anything for this potluck dinner? Ew. Even the words sound icky. I love food. Look, I just need you to do this, okay? I'll what come to want? a potluck. Not this, Betsy. I'm serious, Carlos. I really don't think it's too much to ask for. I mean, you are a housewife. No. You don't just tell me, hey, Gabby. A co-worker is having a potluck at his house, and we're going on such sharp notice. You don't have to bring anything. Just show up and eat their food. You know how I feel about the kitchen. I always like it shiny, clean, and elegant, which means no one should actually use the oven or stovetop. That's why God invented home delivery. 
These are the kinds of jokes that people, well, I don't know. Do straight people still think these jokes are funny? That's why God invented home delivery. Hello. <laughs> Is this still the jokes that people who watch TV think are funny? Hmm, beautiful on the outside, empty inside. Huh. Why does it remind me of someone? Carlos, do you really think mocking me is the way to get me to do this favor for you? Come on, Gabby. How long does it take to cook one what? dish? Don't shake your fist. Don't. You've got more than enough God. Time Mama wouldn't have had any problem with this, you know. Do not bring your mother into this, Carlos. This is the same. This is along those lines of like the old ball and chain jokes. You don't catch gay people making those jokes. We're just, we're just, we're so thankful we can get married. <laughs> you know? I'm just saying there are certain things a woman should be able to do in her own home, and this is one of them. Come on, these people are all business contacts. It's important for my career. Yeah, we someone really complimented well, them on purple ones. You. Little things like diamonds. Perhaps I was being too harsh. <laughs> oh my God. And then this old trope of she'll do it for diamonds, blah, 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 blah. You'll come around. I love, I love not having to exist within these stereotypes. Glad you could make it. I've got, we've got a whole other bag of stereotypes on us, on queer people, but I'm glad this isn't it. I was, I'm glad unhappy chase. marriage is not one of the, Stereotypes of homosexuality. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh my god! Unhappy marriage is a is a heterosexual relationship stereotype. That's good to hear. Listen, I want to help Daniel out. When I was modeling full time, I worked with a number of really famous clothing designers. And a oh lot my of God, times, Gabby, I don't over, care. I had the habit of keeping some of the dresses I modeled, just the ones that were my favorites. I'm not greedy, you know. You stole the dresses, Gabrielle. Well, if you want to get all technical, but that's not the point. One of the dresses is made entirely of the fabric <laughs> that you and Daniel have been scrambling all over town to find. I know. I haven't scrambled to find it at all. I literally walked across the street. I suggest we make a deal. Great. Nothing like that, trust me. I like men far too much. I was thinking more of a trait. I give you the dress, and you help me out of my situation. What's your situation? You our a potluck discussion, meal. Discussion, right? Actually, it was more like an argument, but yeah, I heard. It's a simple trait. You prepare a nice dish for me to take to Carlos's potluck, and I give you the dress. Sounds like it's a banana meatloaf day again. Listen, that dress is just taking up space Not in my closet. Fart. So if you can just bring me a nice enough dish, great. Sounds like a deal. Don't mess up. If you bail on me, I'll be forced to hire a caterer. And that usually costs around $500. No, caterers sell. Break an egg. She said break an egg. Oh, Gabby. Bring her what she wants to make something so like cook for Gabby. Okay. Break an egg. It's a joke. Oh my god. Unlimited soup, salad, and breadsticks. Let me tell you. You order Olive Garden. Unlimited soup, salad, breadsticks. They have to keep coming back to your house to deliver it. They gotta bring you more. All right, Bronson son, this is not for you. I'm cooking Gabby some soup to take. <laughs> oh no, I've never attempted fruit salad. I've never attempted fruit salad. Oh my. <laughs> I'll drop off a case of Slim Fast. We have so much in this house. Chop an apple and chop Mama, look how she chops this apple. She lays the apple down sideways, chops it three times. I bet she doesn't even peel the banana. Oh, she does. This is literally, when I met Justin and didn't know how to cook, this is it. 
Why did it all turn white in the bowl? I haven't added anything white to this. Now I'm adding the yogurt. And cinnamon! Do you put cinnamon in fruit salad? I mean, I don't. All right, Gabby, I guess this is for you. I guess we're eating this. Ragtag Valkyrie, thank you for the eight months. I appreciate that so much. Good to see you. And I guess we're walking. That's fine. Please let me in. So tell me. I love raisins. Are you ready to hold up your end of the deal? Raisins are so good. And this is it's a pleasure doing business with you. This reminds me of the old days. Except instead of sushi in the green room, we have breeze muffins. But at least I get to see my picture in print again. What? And it's finally for a good reason. Oh. Usually when Wisteria Lane She's sad news, she's not a model it's anymore. It's not exactly a happy occasion. Yeah, people die on this it's street. It's the truth. Anyway, let me give you some tips about how these fashion shows usually turn out. God. A s <sighs> Ew, this is sad. <laughs> Ew, this is sad. These shows are always mad. Gabby, the things you care about help. make me sad. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Ew, Gabby, the things you care about make me real sad. At the same time, there's always someone that, for one reason or another, wants to see the show fail. I doubt there's anyone like that around here, but you should keep a lookout anyway. As for me, I'll be too busy prepping for the show. Gotta perfect the walk, the attitude, modeling is a serious business. Oh my god. So, that's the fashion industry for you. Well, it's never boring. That's. I hope your dress turns out well. See you in the. Sh okay, bye. Ew, that's sad. Oh God, she probably posts selfies on Facebook. Excuse me. <laughs> Girl, we walked right in front of that Chrysler Pacifica. Megan McMeganson is the main character. Girl, she probably is posting selfies on Facebook with no text. She's posting selfies on Facebook with no text. Is she's doing that? Oh, you found it. How wonderful. <laughs> I'm so glad that I'm just glad I'm so glad this makes me this game makes me glad about my life do you do you know that Whitney good to see you thank you for the bits happy Thursday Gigi thank you for the bits you tried to make an after school snack Peanut butter, bananas, and cinnamon. Oh, not you grabbed cumin instead. Oh my god. Thank you for the bit. Sorry about your taste buds. Did you? Well, I won't let you regret it. And oh, there's one more thing left I need from you to help finish things up. <laughs> what, Daniel? I have an accessory already picked out for you that will go perfectly with your new dress. Would you be a dear and stop by the shopping center to pick it up? Okay, Sounds great. Then. Talk to you in a bit. I, I need to go. I need to go make sure my husband's cheating anyway, so I'll be. I'll make a quick trip. No, the car. We can get a new outfit when we. Well, we are going to be wearing a new, a new yellow dress. <laughs> I need to, 
I just remembered, I need to walk up and down the street and make sure no one's TV is on. And if it is, walk into their house and turn it off. His name is Joe. I can't talk to him. Talk to owner, so it's the boutique. This is not the boutique. Is this a boutique? That's a pharmacy. <laughs> Me walking into CVS. Is this a boutique? Look at this lovely little boutique. Is this a boutique? <laughs> Hi, Hi, Bev. How can I help you? Right. Oh, I remember seeing that when it came in and thinking, wow, Daniel Fox orders from us. I was like, oh my god, no way. And I told all my friends and they couldn't believe it. Okay, her voice actor is good. She's actually eating. Uh, Pisces Sprite. Thank you for the seven months. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. Well, Chrysler Pacificas used to be... There's different... I looked it up the other day. There's different types of Chrysler Pacificas. The one my mom had over 10 years ago was like a crossover SUV. And now they're like minivans. It's evolving. I mean, who'd think Daniel Fox would come to my store? Technically, he still hasn't come here yet. I guess not. But there's still time, I guess. So anyway, can you tell me the shipping number so I can find the package? Girl, no. I'm sorry. Does it look like I have I a shipping number on me? Until I get your shipping number. Contact him and find out what it is. I'm or already here. Want, I can call him and find out for you. Why don't I agree to this? Why don't I agree to this and just say, sure, fine, fucking call him. I'm just going to take a nap by the fountain. Why does she care? I just, well, I'd ask about the shipping number. I could do that much myself. I also wanted to see if he would give me any fashion tips. Well, you do need them. Jesus Christ. You're gonna need a shipping number. Are you serious? And I can't even call him? I have to go back? Oh my god. I gotta compose myself. <laughs> this is like the worst kind of fetch quest. I don't even want to wear... It's probably... It's probably... Chunky jewelry. It's probably a chunky jewel costume jewelry from Forever 21 that he found, which they got some cute stuff, don't get me wrong. It's a chunky statement necklace from Forever 21, and you had to untangle it from 20 other necklaces in order to get it. You had to untangle it from 20 other necklaces to get it. Hey, I'm a bit bogged down right now, but you yeah, they need the shipping number. The shipping Thanks number for sending me with nothing. House. And oh, Frank should be there, so the door will be great. Open I'll sleep you. with yeah, him. I'm really sorry, it must have slipped. Anyways, you're an awful person. I hate you. You're an awful person. <laughs> Megan McMeganson's having a day. I listen. I had to do gardening, and I'm mad about it. Oh, this is where we catch him talking on the phone, isn't it? I don't remember. He wrote it down where on the kitchen counter? Why does he need such a big table? He doesn't have any friends. What do you mean you didn't get it? 
What do you mean you didn't get it? We didn't get it. That's the same voice. Who is this? Come on, Frankie. You know who we are, and we know who you are. Let's cut the crap. Listen, I can't talk right now. There's way too much attention around here. You really should have thought of that before you skipped down. Don't call me anymore. We don't have anything to talk about. Oh, well, see, we happen to think we do. This is me on the phone trying to give the pharmacy my new insurance card number. This is the phone call I had this morning with the pharmacy. <laughs> Not this! But it sounds like we're going to have to talk face to face if we're going to get anything done. And they tell me I had to come in and I said, no, it's one number. Talk to you soon, Frankie. Wait, hello? Hey! <sighs> Damn it. Where am I? Oh, yeah. Oh. Why am I going back to his house? Oh. Oh, that's right. The shopping center. I already forgot what the desk was. I already forgot about the shipping number. It's absolutely... It sounds like the same voice actor. I've already forgotten... Right, we can walk a little faster, I think. Did you hey, find Bev. the shipping number? Y'all, they really gave. Y they could have typed, yes, I did. Here it is. But they typed, yes, I did. It's 6 212 5 The attention to detail. No one can say that this game is lazily made. No oh, one can say yeah. that. Here's your package. Oh, yeah. Just a little letter for Daniel saying hi. That's all. Above so and beyond. Take it easy. I'll see <laughs> Game of the year. I'm taking the note off the package and eating it. Where is it? Oh, I can't do it. Okay. Well, fine. It's 8.30 p.m. I wonder... I guess maybe we'll have to have the fashion show tomorrow. I don't know how time works. The immersion, the realism. Baldur's Gate, who? All the choices I can make in Baldur's Gate. But what about all the choices I can make here? Including exactly one choice. All right, I am going to warp to this house and then Mr. walk Fox, to the cul-de-sac. I'd like to speak with you for a moment, if I may. Eric oh, Larson? There's no need to be official with me. Just call me Frank. Well, I'll be frank with you, Frank. There are some things that I need to know, and I think you might be able to give me some answers. <laughs> oh, I do love that. The writing in this game is really good. I'm sorry. I don't think I know you. And I, uh, I don't talk to strangers. Though I'm certain you don't know me. I talk exclusively really to strangers. Per se, but I, am I don't talk to people I know. I only talk to strangers on the internet. I, I don't think we can call y'all strangers at this point in the With relationship. You, I am? Yes. My visit to Fairview is the risk. If I may, I have a couple of questions I'd like to ask you about your duties. Is she hearing this conversation from across the street? I really can't talk now. A friend of mine is working on a project, and I told him I'd help him out with some of the details. That's right. Your brother Daniel is holding that sweetheart's fashion show sometime soon, isn't he? I, uh, sorry, I gotta go now. <laughs> she... She's actually a Marvel superhero, and she has supersonic hearing. This game walked so Baldur's Gate 3 could run. It's true. Come on, she needs to walk there by 10 hey, p.m. you're back. So I see. You're going to look absolutely ravishing, you know that? You're damn right I will. Wow, don't be so modest. So guess what? Since you were so helpful, I'll do you a little favor. You can keep the dress after the show as a gift. Finally. I w do I get to wear it? I don't remember. Not that many people can walk around saying they have a oh, Fox God. original, you know. I'm going to burn it in his front yard. 
So, make sure you take good care of it. Thanks. Oh, no, thank you. Hey, care to hear the latest about the fashion show? I've actually been up to my neck in work lately. The show is turning out to be a lot more work than I originally thought. How are things coming along? Now, that's not to say that I want to quit. The show must go on, so to speak. Why, did you want to help me out? Sorry, but no thanks. You really shouldn't have taken on the show if you didn't think you would be able to handle the responsibilities. <laughs> Chat. The choices you make have consequences. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it. Great. Fine. Be that way. Later, Daniel. Don't drag me into your bullshit. The high road. Daniel wow. got a bit... What a flop. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Daniel got in a bit over his head. Help him out by finishing up a few errands. If you choose to complete the high road, you will not be able to complete the low road. <laughs> Wait, where's the low road? That, I want to do that. Where's the low road? It's a dark earth. Did you come back because you decided you wanted to help? Sure, why the Absolutely. fuck not? Bree's summary. Pick up her summary for the show. Get her summary, get her summary. Who needs to... Let me tell you, you're stressing too hard about this little podunk, dumpy... Stupid little cul-de-sac fashion show, and you need to... Oh, hold on, hey, I got a call. I was hoping to run into you. I want to talk to you about something. What do you want? I just wanted to ask you to stop by and talk for a bit about the big fashion. So just stop by when you get the chance. See you soon. Okay, bye, Edie. It's almost 10, so I should probably go to bed, but I'll come by in the morning. This little dumpy, frumpy cul-de-sac... Fashion show. Well, sh fashion show. <sighs> My dress better be gorgeous. Megan McMegan, she provides nothing but love and light for this community, for this neighborhood. Sending love and light. Okay. Uh, whoa, 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 wait. Does anyone remember which one of these I did in the first? I think I took the high road the first time. I think I took the high road the first time. So the low road? I'm pretty sure we did not help Edie the first time. We're trying to make alternate decisions. You think I tried <laughs> taking the low road? Flopped. That actually does sound like me. I took the low road the first time, but nobody tripped. I thought the fashion show went off without a hitch last time. I did do the high road. The, I, th I think I, I think Mia Asma and Xander Uwu were right. I tried to take the low road, but it didn't pan out. All right, let's go chat with Eddie. Let's go chit chat with Eddie. Sneak in. Is she not here? No one is home or awake. It's okay. I'll just stand outside the window. <laughs> okay, she woke up. Not the road less traveled. Not Robert Frost. And miles to go before I... And miles to go before I sleep? <laughs> it's about time you got here. I've been waiting for you. The road is lovely, dark, and deep. But I have promises to keep. And miles to go before I sleep? And miles to go before I sleep? 
Y'all didn't know. Y'all forgot. I was a poetry minor in creative writing. <laughs> As you may know, I wasn't in Is that Robert in Frost? I don't even know. And although I don't blame you for taking the spot in the show that should have been mine. The woods. Oh, not an English degree, Shelby. An English degree would be useful. I have a creative writing degree. Don't get it twisted. I think Daniel Fox should reconsider Stop. who he has in his show. <laughs> Thanks, Shara. <laughs> Reconsider. Oh, I know it's too late to change the lineup, but I think that if we make it apparent that there are people that object to there being only five sweethearts, then he should take notice. You know, oh, Edie. Wow, is. what a flop. <laughs> Thanks, Mia. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> I appreciate that. Trouble sounds I like fun. You'd be the perfect person to go to. So Edie, here's what I was I'm thinking. always here to shit on the runway. Diva. This chemist guy I'm friends with and sort of dating was kind enough to give me a little present. Oh, yeah? A little turd in a box? An acidic, time-delayed solution. And what do you plan to do with Essentially, that? Essentially, it's the perfect way to ruin a dress with no one knowing, since it won't actually take effect until the day of the show. Two different poems, but both by Robert Frost. There you go. Fashion show sabotage. I don't think I did it, though. <laughs> Not this snappier. But since I have no business being backstage around the dress, and don't worry, it doesn't matter whose dress you do it to as long as somebody gets screwed. Although I'd enjoy it a little more if it was Susan. I would happily and ruin Susan's dress. don't even think about lying to me and not doing it. A mistake like that will come back to haunt you. And what's in it for me? I have a hundred dollars here for you when you come back and tell me you're finished. A hundred dollars? My husband's a doctor. How does that sound to you? Good? Great. So here, just take this and let- Bye! I guess I'll be Blas- blase about it you've concluded that i messed up the dress but didn't complete the quest okay okay i like that this time let's follow through i have a problem with following through what Gabrielle tells you about tricking the other models it would be pretty difficult to walk with the threat of public embarrassment in your mind so I, if I can say something to get into their heads, got it. And so we're, I'm going to go ruin the dress. I'm going to go shit on the dress. Definitely Susan's. And, and now what? Mind games. Bittersweet. E will be happy to hear. Head back. Tell her the good news. Got it. I sampled both roads last time. I had my cake and I ate it. <laughs> Cole's cash. Hey, you're back already. How did it go? She gave me a sweater she got from Nordstrom Rack and the receipt and said, if you take this back, you can keep the money. It costs $15. <laughs> she gave me, she gave me a sweater she got from Nordstrom Rack and the receipt. And she said, if you take this back for me, you can keep the $15. So, whose dress did you decide to ruin? No, wait, don't tell me. It'll make for a nice surprise come the night of the show. Socks, sneakers, or boots? Sneakers. Dave, she said, there's $4.24 on my Dave and Buster's card. Go knock I yourself knew out. there was a reason why I liked you. Here's the cash I promised you. You know, if you enjoyed that, I have something else planned that I could use a little help with. I'm on board. I hate everyone in this place. I have this dress that would be perfect for you. I'd be willing to let you have it if you help me out. And the show went off with every hitch we had planned. So, are you in or not? 
I'll take another dress. That's just what I wanted to hear. I would so like multiple I have dresses. Two things in mind. First, there's nothing funnier than a woman in heels falling flat on her face. Am I right? It's a bit overdone, but it'll be good for a laugh. Are you having a laugh? <laughs> Let's make that happen. I'm sure someone around here has some floor wax you can borrow. Find floor it wax. And use it on the runway. Just make sure to walk around the spot you wax during the show, okay? We wouldn't Got want it. any unexpected accidents to occur. Right, so you do that. Where would I get wax? Get your hands on floor. Probably Brie. It says just figure out who would have it. Clearly Brie. Oh, it marks her house. <laughs> I don't need to figure it out. I don't need to figure it out. It put it. It put us. It put. It drew an X on the map. I got the eyes of the hunter. He screams and wildly flames. Turn down your TV. So I hate loud TVs. Hey, I hate TV. Oh hi. Bree, I How couldn't help. You? I was walking by, and um, you need to turn your goddamn TV down. Oh, we're trying to get into her head. I heard the strangest rumor about rumor? you. Rumor? About me? Who would start some malicious gossip about Walk me? Walk in, I'm a turn off the TV, virtue. take the floor wax, and leave. What was it about? Someone told me that you were dancing in, they saw you at, you, oh, it's Mad Libs. You were on a public phone. <laughs> Someone told me, you're so poor you don't have a cell phone. You were on a public phone. In some sleazy motel. With the therapist. My goodness. Who would say such a thing? I don't know. I just overheard it when I was downtown. Oh, of course. I appreciate it. I certainly hope it doesn't bother you. The show's coming up. Well, thank you. Now turn off your goddamn television. I do, Sarge. I'll save you a seat. I'm livid. Where do you keep your wax? If I were floor wax, is that wax? That's a crystal rose. <laughs> if I were floor wax, maybe I'd be upstairs. She's about to go to bed. Oh, I could steal that too. That might be worth some money. Presidential bust. Oh my God, is that Ronald Reagan? I'm gonna throw up. She better not turn it back on. Wax. Wax? Is there wax in? Hello, is there wax in here? Cardboard box! Pick it up. All right, I can't pick it up. It's 1037, so she's probably about to go to bed. Stereo. I could sleep in her bed. She's got a nice shower. It's 10.37 a.m. <laughs> I just found out about time. I just found out about time. Can I stop her from playing the piano? Don't you... She turned the TV back on. Absolutely not. She has the loudest TV in the neighborhood. I don't care. I'll do this until she goes to bed at 10 p.m. Oh, hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, how very... Oh, how awkward. You are more than welcome. Oh, I'm not completing this. I'm not doing the high road. I just came in to turn your TV off. 
Caviar is chilled. The wine is comfortable breathing and hand blown correct. It still shows the floor wax is in this house. All right. If she turns that TV on again, I'm going to burn down her whole fucking house. Um, you can't go in the garages in this game. The garages don't work. I don't think. If anyone can wants to confirm. I don't think the garage, the garages work. Oh my god. You can't click on anything in this game. This is like a little utility room, but I can't really snoop in it. Oh, should I ask her? It just says it's at her Can house. I, I think it's in something? the box upstairs. I need some floor wax. I knew you'd have some to spare. I have spare bottles of all my cleaning supplies. It's yours to have. Of course, on the condition that you will dispose of the container in accordance with state recycling ordinances. Yes, very. I can't very well be party to more toxins getting into our environment. She doesn't strike me as someone who believes in climate change. So that's good. Will you? Of course. Here you go. Have fun waxing. Okay, she just gave it to me. If you turn your TV back on again, I'll be walking past your house and I'll hear it. And you'll be in trouble. And you'll be in trouble. <laughs> All right, don't turn around for a minute, Daniel. That's how you, that's the noise you have to make when you walk fast. Just leave in a small human chart on the runway. Let's go tell Edie. Just leaving one small human turd on the runway. Nothing to see here. You better turn off your goddamn stereo. Who is that? Absolutely not. Absolutely not this trash. Ooh, that made me so mad. <laughs> Ooh, that made me so mad. Did you wax the runway yet? Wonderful. You're right, I did. The What's second the other thing, thing? We need to do is shut Daniel up. Shut Daniel up, kill him. Just think, if the microphone isn't working, no oh, one can hear him. Not the kill him. Would be confused, and everyone that walks on stage. Oh, kill him. Know what to do? Born in the game. Except for you, of course, because you'd know about it. You wouldn't be as startled. Let me know when you finish that, and it should be the last thing. Believe me, it'll be worth it. Can, who's that man in your house? Can I sleep with him? Well, I'll do that later. Who's that man in your house? Oh, I have to... Imagine how awkward they feel if they were forced to walk on a stage in total silence. We have to get some wire clippers. Don't get caught. One of the men in the neighborhood probably has a pair you can borrow. I don't know who Paul is. Does anyone know who this man is? Not this. Who is this? Hello. Could be better. Could be worse. God, I do not care, sure. Paul. But if you need some help, I'm pretty handy with tools. Actually, my husband needs them. No problem. Them. Here you go. I suppose I can trust you with them. You don't. Do you want to like? What can I do for you? Do it while I'm here. What are you talking about? 
You can tell me why that icy remoteness of yours makes me shiver with excitement. What's this about? A oh, Susan he's Mayer the dead narrator's husband. I'm trying to lead you into my arms. So am I to understand you really want to be with me? No, no. I don't think Bronsonson goes to work anymore. Do you think that's worrisome? <laughs> my husband stopped going to work. My, my. You were amazing right, since care. it went so well. Okay, back to here. Time to cut some cords. All right, don't turn around, Daniel. Ah! Why is this like a school teacher podium? This is so weird. Hey. Oh. What are you doing over there? I think I lost my contact lens. I didn't know you wore glasses. I don't. That's why I have contacts. Ah, uh, I guess that makes sense. Shouldn't you be watching your children, Lynette? So, I your don't know ugly about you, children. But everyone I know is looking forward to the show. They play in the mud all day. My boys told me just yesterday how they're so proud of me because I'm a supermodel now. It's cute how your children are so easily confused. <laughs> That is a great line. Can't say the darndest things. And Tom? Well, let's just say he's been especially proud of me lately, too. Uh, Lynette, I just, I don't have a lot of time to listen to your, about your sad life. As for life. Daniel, he may seem really uptight at times, but some people handle stress in different ways. I know for certain he's really worried about something going wrong with the show, but after putting so much time into something, I guess you can't help but be a little nervous, right? I can imagine what could possibly go wrong. I guess you're right. I mean, it's not like there's some dark, mysterious villain that has it out for the show or anything. She's talking silly about like me. That. Someone else was walking in the street. Hey, no, of it was course good talking not. To you. See you in the show. Bye, Lynette. A new hint added. Are you sure? Everyone, including Lynette, is really looking forward. Do you really want to go through with this and ruin everything? If not, there's always the high road. Honey, I thought I already cut the cord. Cut it faster. Sabotage faster. Did she turn her fucking stereo back on? Can I let myself in? I need to come in. Please let me in. All done? Right. Now we just sit. Also, assuming everything goes according to plan, I'll make good on our little deal. And you I can get have two that dress dresses? I about. That's fun. You better. All right, then. I'll see you at the show. Susan may have forgotten. Stop by. Oh, no. I don't have to do that anymore. Head back to Daniel to get this show on the road and let the mayhem begin. We sure didn't do this last time. That show... I think we stained the dress last time, but then didn't do anything else. We got... We were over it. We thought it was too much work. This is fun. This isn't work. The time before the show is winding down. Are you ready? Oh, Daniel. I was born ready. It's funny that you ask that. Did you forget that it's scheduled for tomorrow night? 
Of course oh, I didn't. You're such a tease. You really had me going there for a minute. But yes, tomorrow night at 7. I'm going to expect you and all the other girls to be seated backstage by 5 o'clock, okay? 5 o'clock. I'll be there. In fact, oh, I'm there now. <laughs> in fact, I'm there, hey in there. fact, right Ready now. For the show? Oh, Susan. Look at that little piece of shit they put you in. You bet I am, Susan. Me too. Everything is so beautiful, and this is the perfect night for it. Break a leg, Susan. Thanks. Will do. Lynette. You still feeling hey, haven't sad. Seen you to be lately. Lynette, are you still feeling sad? And bad? <laughs> My dress is ugly, too. Gabby's the only one. Well, actually, Bree's dress is pretty cute, too. I don't know what this little Sadie Hawkins dance fucking <laughs> I don't know what this little Sadie Hawkins dance get up they have Lynette in yeah I've been working too many nights late but I'm glad I managed to find time to do this for Daniel oh you think so that's so great to hear thanks make sure you have fun out there Lynette I know you don't have much fun in your day to day life Bree how did the floor wax work out for you? I definitely put it to good hey, use. Good oh, no! I need to talk to Bree! Vincent Corsetti I remember my business this. partners. My friends call me Vinny. Vinny it is, then. So, my name's I Megan. I just came back here to wish everyone good luck in the show. Are you new? You could say that. All of the recent happenings in Fairview have sparked my interest in the area. Daniel Fox is, is that Carl Lagerfeld? <laughs> and it's quite the truth. Carl Lagerfeld? One of his shows. Oh, and here I was. Here I was thinking. I was thinking you came out here to see me. <laughs> her, her robot brain, like a spring fell out of her just now. Oh, and here I was thinking. I was thinking you just came out here to see me. That's not my reason for coming out, but it could very well. She be just a blew good a gasket in her robot brain. American Teen Against Crime, thank you for the uh, 15 months. Always great to see you. I do else? appreciate it. You thank you, thank more you. Of me in the future. Well, exactly what parts of you would I be seeing exactly? That's entirely up to you. I think in this hey, let's play, we should run off with the mob. Sec. In the first one, didn't we kill everybody? Pardon me for a moment. Tell me something. Surely you noticed this ravishing woman before me? She actually looks a lot like... And you saw me speaking with her, didn't you? Well, sure I did. But... That's good. Now tell me why you felt the need to interrupt our conversation. I'm... Uh, I'm sorry, but there's something you're gonna want to check out. What are you talking about? I don't... I haven't explored... Well, we're g Megan is a very different person from Brenda Windchimes. My leg stuck. And I'm still figuring out, you know, she, she does make different decisions. And I think we may have a different ending you know because what? of that. No, I don't. That guy you told me to look for, I think he's here. <sighs> Let's head back to our seats and wait for the show to start. I have to say, it was a pleasure talking to you. We'll have to do it again sometime. I'm um, done with me again. We don't say anything, we just... And he knows. We just might. Post-verbal. Hello. Oh my God, I keep getting interrupted. Hey, you're that guy who, that freaked out Frank. I'm not at liberty to talk about that right now. My business with Frank doesn't concern you. I have to defend the foxes? Listen, you have no idea what's going on here. Stop complaining and start listening. 
what I have to tell Everyone's you listening, you Eric. <laughs> Everyone around Eric Larson can hear. Trust me, I'm here to help. But that guy that just left here, he's no friend of yours. Well, Vincent, how do you know him? Trust me. Bad things have a way of following Vincent around. Just don't get yourself involved. Can I do fashion now? Bree, how are Listen, you? Sorry about all that. My me. life's Perhaps in turmoil. Talk to me after the show. Oh. I'll go talk to Gabby then. Well, can I slap you? No. All right, then I'll go talk to Gabby. Good to see you made it to the show. How did that dinner work out? It actually went much better than I expected. A potluck dinner is not the kind of thing Carlos and I usually do, you know? They love the dish I brought and asked for more. I told them they'd have to wait till next time. You'll help me out again, won't you? Sure, as long as you have no drugs to give me. I just might. There's really no middle ground for these for the voice actors in this game. It's Listen up, people. They're Five minutes eating, to or they don't, or they're not present. Oh, Judy, thank you for the bids. Fighting with the speakers in our rental <laughs> Chrysler, Chrysler Pacifica. Ah, well, that sounds like fun. You got to be in a Chrysler a Pacifica. Here, but I really thank want you for to the say bits. thank you to all of you for taking part in the show. So now, without further ado, let's get out. Are y'all ready for this? Give them a show they'll never forget. It's been building up. Everyone crazy. <laughs> There's a, a stain on Susan's dress. Did she just shit in that chair? Often when our actions go unnoticed. We're Microphone forced to take messed up. Measures. Pooping on your dress? To <laughs> make ourselves heard. Yes! Yes! And me, flawless. Oh my god. It's the beginning of my new be career. With the amount of Carl Lagerfeld, front row. You never know <laughs> fart. exactly who has their eye on you. Thank you, Shira, for the reverb fart. Public shaming is it. <laughs> ah! Graceful. We ate no crumbs. And Susan, she ate shit, is what she ate. From the day we are born, Why does she walk us like that? To be appreciated. Is that Mark? That's Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> can't get enough attention. Why was that Mark Zuckerberg Others in the background? Can get by with just the occasional bit of it now and then. Is she okay? Oh, ah! That's cute. You deserve something. Your life's so bad, Lynette. <laughs> Back in Sometimes my old outfit. When it comes to being appreciated, the most important question is not whether we are getting attention. Haven't changed my underwear in, in weeks. Is giving it. Hey, Edie. Oh my God, Vinny's moving in. In a pas oh, he has a Chrysler Pacifica Limited. Oh. Good morning, neighbor. Opening the How are door my panties. <laughs> Um, hello, Edie. I was wondering if you would be a dear and let me show Mr. Corsetti around your home. I'm always ready to show him off for a handsome man like Mr. Corsetti. Vincent and I have a lot of appointments today. Let's get down to business. I just take the tour with you. As you can you. see, the entryway is open oh. here and the stairway is made of turned pine. Handy. The new estate homes are similar, but... I like the way this looks. I hate that word. When did word. you purchase your home? Uh, like a week ago, actually. Forget about how the house looks. What do you think of me? Okay, people. On with the tour. Let's make Edie mad. Notice the narrow crown mold. Did she give me a dress? And the carved baseboards. One of this builder's specialties. Very nice. I love what you've done with the furnishings as well. Very refined taste. Just my style. Just move into my house. We can kill my and husband. And every room has dimmer switches installed for all built-in lights. Let's Ooh. move on, shall we? 
Ooh, I hope the kitchen's Unlike clean. Unlike this kitchen, all of the new kitchens will have eight outlets, <laughs> each on a separate breaker box, so there'll be plenty of juice for any appliance you may have. Not reading my I kitchen. I enjoy cooking up a fancy meal from time to time. I make my pasta from scratch, though. I don't use those new pasta machines you see on TV. We get it, Vinny. Vinny is Lady Gaga, letting everyone know she's Italian. Mmm, that sounds delicious. I have beautiful floors. I would love to taste your homemade pasta someday. Sign me up for that, too. I'll bring some red wine. Okay, let's go. On with the tour, Vincent. Follow me. All the windows are double glazed and provide a major savings on heating and cooling. The new development gives the option of adding tinting to them at a nominal charge. Of course, using quality window treatments would make the windows in here look a lot better, but you get the idea. Wow. I'm not a big fan of covering up my windows. I like to let the light flow in and warm the room. Well, okay. I'm just saying the new estate homes have materials that are cut above what you see here, but you can see the quality workmanship. I can imagine those new homes are probably a lot more expensive. Much bigger commissions, huh, Edie? Well, Vincent, let's that's embarrass much her all at her job. Show you here. Ooh. Let's get going. We embarrassing her at her soon, job at the we gig. Have some at my place and go over some of the floor plans for the new Aren't we going to check out the upstairs? I'm interested to see the size of the master bedroom. I'm sorry, Vincent. We need to get going now. Indeed. It was very nice to meet you. Here's my phone number. I hope to see you again soon. I look forward to seeing you around town. Megan McMeganson. She doesn't enunciate as as much as Brenda Windchimes does. She's, well, what the fuck is wrong with you, golf? God, I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to go look at my new dresses. God. When is that kid going to move out? <laughs> God. This is the dress that Edie gave me. Oh, it is corset. These are the same dress, but one is yellow. I don't want to wear the yellow one. Well, I mean, that is my thing. But it's a Daniel Fox dress. Oh! Is it blue? Was the dress blue and black or gold? Desperate Housewives PC game predicted that moment in history. Is the dress blue and black or gold? Not this! All right, I'll wear the... I'll wear the black one with these shoes. I can. It's so ugly. I have to wear the yellow one. Can I upgrade the bed now? I might as well spend $4,000 on a new bed. It's floating, by the way. I don't see... I see the curtains, but they are cut, not covering up any legs. The bed is nailed to the wall. Oh, get your mail. I forgot Daniel dies. I remember someone dying on his doorstep. I guess it makes sense that it was him. Judy, thanks again for the bits. Oh, this is the part where I got into the time disaster. Okay, hey, we got like locked out of Breeze or something. Is that a begonias? I hate that word. Susan, what do you want? A couple of things. First, I wanted to let you know that the poker game for tonight is on. 7 p.m. at Breeze House. You have to come. Great, what else? Help poor Lynette. Her brood all came down with some stomach virus. All the kids and Tom is laid up too. I was thinking of going over there to see if there was anything I could do to help her out. 
Ugh, I remember having a toddler. <laughs> hey, she hates her son. Okay. I'm sure she'll appreciate any help she can get. What are you going over to Gabrielle's house for? Um, no reason. Well, I gotta lock I it. I'm oh, not wait. gonna tell you about I that, almost Susan. I the main reason I called you. Oh, what do you want, Susan? I'm sorry. Here's the deal. Julie has this project due in her computer lab at school, and she seems to be having some trouble with it. Uh-huh. Oh, well, I was talking to her, and she mentioned that your son is like <sighs> the star pupil in that class. So I was wondering if he could help her with her project? Ask him. I don't fucking know where he is. She's under a lot of pressure to get straight A's this year. And I was hoping maybe your son could help her study. Girl, I, if you can find him, you can ask him. I don't know where my son is. I don't know where that kid is. <laughs> Girl. Well, I appreciate it. Just tell him to call Julie and I'll make some pizza or something for them while they work on her project. Thanks for chatting. I'll talk to you later. Bye. We don't speak to golf. He's annoying. Heather, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. We got to seduce Tom this time. So that is Lynette's husband. All right. We'll try to catch him all this time. All the husbands. That is going to be the end of today's episode, though. Um, That's a good stopping point. We're still on... Are we on? We're on episode six. Oh, we actually accomplished quite a bit today. It's so nice to be back playing Desperate Housewives. Yeah, we really ruined our son's life and then like abandoned him. Anyway, <laughs> stay tuned tomorrow. We are going to be playing uh, Alice Madness Returns. I'm going to be starting my replay of it. I'm very excited. I really love that game. Um, so if you like Alice in Wonderland being spooky, ooky, spooky, and angry, unraveling, you'll enjoy that video game. Oh, no. It took me a little longer than usual to find the right button. Oh, no! <laughs> Thank y'all so much for being here. Thank you for the bits, donations, subs, gifts, subs. Wonderful Patreon patrons. It's so much fun playing these games with y'all. Y'all are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you so much. Um, stay tuned for tomorrow's stream. Like I said, Alice Madness returns. Stay hydrated. Uh, exhibit self-care. Wear your seatbelt. Look both ways before you cross the street. Um, uh, sabotage some fashion shows, but don't really. And I didn't tell you to do that. Love y'all so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.